Y'all already know the big homie, Big Crit, live from the underground. I'm sorry I missed the fucking concert, Red Bull, ATL, I missed that shit. But the homies was there, they covered it, the shit was dope. But let's get back to this uh, album, man. First commercial album that he, that he dropped. Shit's dope. <laughs> God damn, man. This, man. this nigga Crit done put out three to me. You know what I'm saying? Top notch mixtapes, and he followed it up with the album, dog. Like, he's the embodiment of what Southern hip hop is. Everything he does, or it should be. You know what I'm saying? What, what Southern hip hop should be. Everything he does is just, I just feel it, man. My sub part two. Uh, um, um, what's the one you saw? Rich Dad, Poor Dad. That was my favorite one on there. Me too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh my God. It, because cause it's so deep. Like, his dad is poor because he doesn't have money, but he's rich because he has knowledge and he taught him a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? And man, like I could so relate to that song. You know, um, I love I Got This Here. Uh, and y'all know I don't remember fucking names of nothing. And I'm quoting. Yeah, the whole fucking song. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, um, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what, what's the other one um, that you talk about? He got he he getting money. Um, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that yeah that yeah that's me. Yeah, that man. You know what? And, and, and his hooks are very simplistic, very simple shit, but they're dope. You know what I'm saying? I just love everything Crit does, man. Call me a stand. Call me whatever the fuck you want to call me. I love Big Crit, and this album is fucking dope as shit, and it bumps in the whip, goddamn. Um, I agree with FIFO, man. I, I, I really enjoyed this album. Um, like you said, yeah, the first commercial release by him, first major label release by him. Um, you know, here's the thing. I loved his, his last two mixtapes. Loved both of them. This album, for me, and this and this is this is gonna sound weird, but it's the worst of the three. It's right. definitely the worst of the three, but it's still, it's still a dope album. I, but I just want to make sure that people understand what I'm saying. Yeah. I really enjoyed the album. It didn't blow me away like Forever Today or, or um, Return, Return of Forever. I, you know, I think I think here's what made the album I think a little bit less enjoyable for me than the last two. He, the beats were all great, but the beats were all similar with the exception of a few tracks. They were all mid-paced. They were real smooth beats, real soulful beats. But for the most part, the whole album was really mid-paced. And the one song that I did not care for um, was, was it That's Me? Yeah, That's Me. I did yeah, not like that song me. at all, at all. All the other tracks, I thought were great. Porch Light was a great track for the ladies. Praying Man. Praying Man was a great track. That. That's, that's like my second track. But but I'm with you. Well, yeah, with BB King, that yeah. was crazy. But my favorite track was Rick Dad Poor Dad too. I thought that track was incredible. The way he's talking about the different lessons his dad gave him, and when he says, "Don't trust your reverend," when they yeah. settle in for settlements, close your door, close your windows, and let the devil in. Crit is a fucking lyricist, and when you talk about his hooks, that's how he pulls you in with the hooks. You know, the hooks. You sing in the hooks. You sing in the hooks, and then you know it's just how fucking dope his verses are. Now, I think that's a brilliant way to market yourself. Like, a lot of Southern rappers don't do that. You know, they'll make a simplistic hook and simplistic verses. Yep, yep. But nah, man, you can get deep on your verses. Make your hook simplistic. That way everybody can memorize this shit, and then they notice later just what you're talking about. But uh, I can't think of any, any other tracks. But overall, man, I think this is this is a great album. Great album. Um, that's really it that I, I got for right now. All of the albums, I think I enjoyed this one most right up there with with Crit was here um, because you know I because the beats you know what it, yeah because I, I think see, it's, I it's definitely a different sound because it, it, it definitely paced differently to me because for me I didn't hear the same sound over and over again I heard I heard slower songs I heard mid tempo and then I heard some up tempo beat so it kind of flowed a little bit better for me as a whole um, but yeah I think overall the the album is great I think that was one of the that was one of the things that that kind of when I listen to Crit, because he always had that same sound throughout the whole album, it kind of, you know, kind of used to throw me off a little bit. Yeah. But you know, he always was good at what he did. But it's just like that particular theme with him just kind of just didn't really connect with me. But overall, man, I, I think I enjoyed this great. I think it's a great day. You know, it's a great debut album for Crit. 
on Def Jam. I think he has one or two songs that are that can make the radio and should be on the radio. One or two? I, one or I two that I, I, I don't hear any songs that really couldn't make the radio. Yeah. Really? No. The one with two chains? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that, well, well I'm just saying that, done. but I'm just saying that, that's, that's a big commercial. anyway, right? Is it? Man. Yeah, I made a video for it. Oh, look. That's my favorite song in the whole album. Oh, it's <laughs> two chains! <laughs> that's my favorite. I'm not even talking about two chains, though. You know, like the real of men, like from fishing? The, that verse? <laughs> <laughs> Key, you stupid as hell, man. But I'm gonna tell you why I love that song because it really took me back to like some early '90s Southern hip hop, like when Outkast was out, when 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 of course Eight Ball and MJG was out, when when Goody Mob, Cool Breeze, when all those cats were out. That's what it kind of took me back. And it was great to hear Eight Ball and MJG on a verse again, man, and just doing what they doing, man. So it kind of took me home. Yeah, I think for me. Like what Mike said, I this I enjoyed his album, but this is actually my least favorite Big Creek project I, out of out of all his previous three three mixtapes. I feel like he he his music was a lot better when it was free, and now that this you have to pay for it, this is my least this is my least favorite. You ungrateful bastard. <laughs> what? I'm, I mean, I still. He said he don't want to pay for his album. No. I still, your ass. I still purchased just off the strip that he gave me three great projects, man. But this is my least favorite Crip album. It's still a it's still a solid album, but. Like, you know, just like uh, Ralph and uh, Mike said, my favorite song is Rich Dad Poor Dad. To me, that song is Ab Soul's Book of Soul song. Like, that, that's the most personable, you know, most deep song he, he, he spit on that album. But, yeah, it was just like, I think after I listened to it a couple times, I really didn't have that desire to go back and listen to it again like I did his three previous mixtapes. You know, like, when I listened to Forever Today, I was like, oh, nigga, rewind. Like, I was just <laughs> listening to that again. Return to Forever, rewind. Like, I was going right back. I just, I wanted more of that app of, that, of those mixtapes. But with this album, I was just like, eh, you know, it's, it's a smooth production type of album. It's cool. It's, it's good for it to be a his major Def Jam release. But I just didn't have that, I didn't have that desire to go back and read and listen to it a lot. You know, it was still a, it was still a good album, but it just wasn't like, like return like his previous three mixtapes. You know, I was like, yeah, this shit is tight as hell. But you know, live on the ground, good debut. You know, good to see Big Crit doing his thing, man. Glad we saw him at the Red Bull live. You know, what I'm saying too bad my nigga Fifo couldn't make it. You know what I mean? But you know, his kid, his kids was ashy and fucked up. That's what happened. But anyway, yeah. overall, man, I, you know, I liked it. Like I said, it just it just didn't it didn't grab me like his pre his three previous mixtapes. Um, I loved it, man. Once again, you know, I'm glad that there's people who are changing the perception of Southern rappers. And I really hope that certain, I won't say names, but, I, you know, I hope certain other Southern rappers start stepping the game up a little bit. You don't have to be lyrical, but talk about shit. You know, don't talk about nothing just because you want to hop on the radio. How about you change the radio instead of changing for the fucking radio? You know what I'm saying? But, um, anyway... But yeah, I, I think the album's great. Um, definitely support Big Crit all day. And the motherfucker puts on a hell of a goddamn performance. A hell of a performance. You know what I think when... I think a concern that I've had with him dropping three great albums up to this point was could he do it a four time? Could he basically go four for four? And I think for the most part, he... I would say yes, he did that. You know, we'll rank them, of course, according to our personal preference. But like everybody said, that's... that. In regards to what he put out on this project, it's good, man. And, and people should definitely, like Beezy said, go buy it. Because he gave you three great albums that you can put on at any time. Don't do not do this, man, like that. Go fucking buy this shit. Buy it, if, buy it just because you like one of the other three. If you do, even if you don't like this one as, as much as you did the other one. But yeah, man, go, I'm, I'm a rapper, man. I'm, I'm from Ridley, Mississippi, just like him. So I'm going to definitely support Mississippi, um, you know, whenever and however I can. So he, he, he got my he got my money, man. I, I'm, I'm down with it. Um, shit, you know, cop it. I'm going to get his uh, previous mixtapes on vinyl because he re-releasing re them on vinyl. So, vinyl. yep. Crit was here. Return, you know, for, uh, Return of Forever. So, yeah, man, go copy. Cop laughing on the, laughing on the ground. Like I said, it's my least favorite, but it's still a good album. I'm going to still buy it just off the strength. He gave me three great projects before. So, support him, man. Great Southern artist, man. Like Mike said, man, people need to Southern artists need to take notes of this this dude, man. So, copy. This 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 album, you know, like the other guy said, my favorite Big Crip project is Forever in a Day. That's by far my, my favorite Big Crip project. But this is not that far behind. You know what I'm saying? 
I like this album. I, I love this album. Fuck that. I love this album. Go go cop it. Like everybody else said, man, he gave you three fuck, damn near classic projects for free. Why can't you just go buy this one? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, go 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 support great hip hop. Like Mike said, man, he was speaking truth. So I love that shit. I support Big Crit. Go cop that shit, and it bumps in the whip, yo. Take forever in it. Take, take, take forever.